Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards and I will be covering the first of several campaigns this holiday week. Uh, lots of goods available this week. Uh, in this two day campaign we'll be playing as Servants of the Emperor against Eldar and there are two sets of mission, pa uh, mission rewards, um, each lasting only one day. Uh, the first one you can get this new card, it is the uh, Basilisk, the um, iconic uh, long-range artillery from the Imperial Guard. Uh, this thing has a decently powerful ranged attack and a barrage as its trait. So it's an interesting addition, although at the lower levels I don't think it's going to be very strong or useful. Uh, in the second day of the campaign we've got uh, this card which has been around for a little while, uh, Lord Inquisitor Draxus, and um, she, I guess? Yeah, she has a big game hunter, so making her slightly stronger against uh, larger enemy units, but I haven't really used her very much either. And then later on, uh, I, this might be after the campaign, you can get some uh, cosmetic items here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is still uh, pretty early in the campaign, first day, but since it is a short campaign, I do want to just uh, get this video uh, out there. And so we've got um, all of the keyword cards in here. Uh, you get bonus points towards the mission rewards, uh, the first of the mission rewards, I should say, uh, for including Mechanicus cards. Uh, so we got Magos Dominus as the Warlord, and you also get uh, extra points for vehicles, such as the uh, Lehman Russ, so I've included that as well. So, let's go ahead and deploy, see what happens. Uh, I don't have any Psykers in this deck currently, and Eldar do have quite a few Psykers, so that can be a bit of an annoying thing to have to deal with in this campaign. Uh, for the second day... The second set of mission rewards, you actually get bonus points for including Psykers. And I've never really run Psykers with Servants of the Emperor, um, but I might give it a shot uh, once those second set of mission rewards go active. So we'll just put down, um, we've got the Lehman Russ in the middle, and this um, Adeptus Mechanicus Sterilizer dude on the left, and then the Dune Crawler which is the most powerful bodyguard I have in this deck. Yeah, it's at a pretty high level, so it does a lot of damage. Actually has a decent melee attack as well. Enemy starts off with Psychic. Uh, we're up against Fury of the Craft World. This is only an, a level 14 AI in the campaign, so... But that's a... Wow, that's a surprisingly high level Warlord there. Uh, level 4, Fury of the Craft World uh, Avatar. So let's just go ranged. I think we'll just be going ranged the entire time here. Um, so yeah, this is not uh, the strongest setup um, for Servants of the Emperor. With Magos Dominus, I do like to include the um, Valkyrie, which deals a mass amount of uh, range damage, has a lot of health, so it can just survive for a very long time. But since we are still early in the campaign, I'm not too worried about uh, including um, the best cards in, in my collection. But uh, once we start getting up later on in the campaign, uh, I'll be definitely swapping out some of these cards. It seems like it's not actually too hard. Well, I should say, um, I guess you, you do actually have to include a lot of these keyword cards in order to get the mission rewards, I think, since uh, these missions are only available for one day each. So you have a very limited time to get them. All right, and let's see. I think we're just going to put down... I think we'll... Okay, we'll just put down this guy in the middle. I want to keep the tank alive, and once the avatar deploys, it's going to be dealing a lot of melee damage. So we'll take out the left and center lane, deal a lot of damage to the Warwalker on the right. This is going to be a very fast game, by the looks of it. And then, next turn, if they go melee, the Dunecrawler will be able to take out the Warwalker, and then we can go straight for the Warlord with a bunch of range damage. And sure enough, they go melee. Uh, that avatar is very strong. But we have plenty of infantry units that we can just use as um, cannon fodder 
in the center lane. So just put that guy there. And then blast away with our tanks. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, of course, every time one of my small units dies, my uh, the special rule of Magos Dominus will activate, healing up my other units. So they, they actually got dealt a fair amount of damage, but they're uh, getting revived, repaired by uh, these small guys. We'll just deploy... Sure, we'll put down this guy. Um, this Castellan robot actually got the uh, Barrage trait as well. I don't think it's actually all that useful on these cards. Like, a number of units got it. The really powerful ones can use Barrage well, but the weaker ones, it doesn't really do much other than serve as, like, a shield breaker. But you don't really see a whole lot of shields. Uh, Eldar, for sure, I think they only have one unit with the shield. And... Um, I think that this season in ranked mode, people will probably not be running a whole lot of shields simply because of the existence of the barrage trait. So it's not really um, all that useful on the weaker units, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, basilisk. Oh, I could I could actually go to my collection and show the upgrade path for the basilisk. Uh, oops, need to go to servants of the emperor. And where is the thing? There it is. So at level 1 it only does 35 damage, but it gets uh, 13 stats per upgrade. So at level 2 it'll be doing 48 damage. It has a whole lot of health upgrades, I notice, in the upgrade path. Which is not that great. Um, you have to wait till level 5 for it to get the next ranged upgrade to get it up to 61 damage. And even at that point it's not even going to be dealing uh, that much damage with the barrage. It's only 10% of that that uh, does the splash damage to adjacent lanes so not exactly the best card um, we'll, we'll see if it goes through any changes in the future but um, but it is a very cool looking model so um, I'm glad that it's that they decided to add some more of these vehicles for servants of the Emperor so that is the campaign uh, for well the first campaign of the week and the second one is actually down here um, we can actually take a look at what we're playing as and against, we'll be playing as Tau against Space Marines, I believe. So, yeah, um, I will be covering that one as well later on in the week. Um, but let me know if you have any questions or comments. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.